Hello everybody, welcome to another exciting After Effects tutorial. This is Buddy Blackbird. We're working with CS6 and this is for the new Boston. And this time we're going to be talking a little bit about editing keyframes. And um, I'll give you some tips and uh, pointers and um, things to look out for. Well, the first thing I want to remind everybody that the keyframes are down here. You know which keyframe you have selected. You can select it with the selection tool. It'll be yellow. Um, if you click in the area, the gray area, and drag and create it like a box, you can select multiple and um, click, drag, and then hold shift to click um, opposite ones. And that way, that way, when you click on them, you, you can skip ones in the middle. <clears throat> so if you Oops. If you click on this keyframe and then click on this keyframe, you don't have to have the middle one selected and then you can do something like move these. See? All right. Another uh, technique that I like, select all the keyframes and if you grab the last one and hold shift, excuse me, it's not shift, it is alt, sorry, it is alt it will drag out the keyframes and keep the spacing in between them that's really really handy when you when you think you got like good spacing but it's a little too slow go like move it in and it'll speed it up um, to preview your keyframe or to preview your um, animation you can hit spacebar and you can tell if it's in uh, real time by looking up here in the info panel and it'll say real time sometimes your animation will have will be a little uh, effect intensive or something like that and uh, it won't render in real time so if that ever happens then you go over here to the preview section here and then you click on this uh, RAM preview button and then that will uh, it will render out a section and then preview it in real time for you and the amount that you can render out and preview depends on how much RAM you have so the more RAM the more you can uh, more you can render on there more you can see your animation sometimes it'll stop in the middle and keep uh, rendering so you get my point. Another uh, quick tip here is uh, using uh, this workspace tool right here, or the workspace slider right here. If you drag it, you can extend where you'll be previewing to. So only maybe I only want to uh, render these two keyframes right here. So, click on the RAM preview button. Again, now it's only going to render to that area. It's good if you don't want to wait forever to see the whole animation. Maybe you just want to see a little bit of it. So, click on that RAM preview again to stop it. Now you can move this here and move it out a little. I like to always leave a little bit at the end because you can see your animation smoothly without it snapping back real quick. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let me drag these keyframes out a little bit. And then I'll put this right here at the end. Let's ramp preview it. You can see how you can't really see the end very well. And it snaps back. So sometimes you can't get a good feel for your animation, especially when it's fast. Um, something to watch out for when you're uh, editing keyframes. Now, if you remember, I told you that you could um, edit the uh, points. So, some sometimes you may select a point here and go to edit it. But you realize, oh crap, it added another point. And you didn't want that. When you scrub on the on the sliders here in the position panel in the position uh, twirl down menu, 
it's going to put a keyframe where you have your current time indicator. So you see that I have my current time indicator right here. So it made a keyframe there. Now to delete a keyframe, just click on it and hit delete on your keyboard. And uh, use your shift button to snap. There you go. And now you can move that keyframe. You don't even have to have it selected.